Okay, this is the Lund job. Um, this is actually Roger Lund's brother that works at Gunther's. Um, number 53307. Install on 11.11 by Jason. Okay, so what we're doing is we are replacing this furnace with a two-stage 80% furnace. Um, we are going to be adding air conditioning as well. So, um, the new furnace um, will be lined up with this side of the duct. So we have a return, an existing return air right here. So we'll just get rid of this here and we'll take out this uh, two by six header or cut it, either one. Um, but um, we'll pan up the wall here to, you know, to here. This is our dock, so just a, you know, three feet of panning and uh, cut out the back of your return air drop and seal it to the wall and put duckboard headers. Um, but our duct will be tight against this wall and one inch off the back wall. So um, I made your boot 13 inches just to get it. So I can go straight up. Um, with the supply. And uh, so here on your return air, I have a cut line right here, side to side. And then go back, you can't see, but There's a cut line back there as well. So you're going to be cutting and putting in the starting collar. Um, okay. Um, sorry, I'll speed up my talking. Let's just straight up. Starting collar. Okay, 20 by 25 filter box. Furnace will sit on the base. Um, I have a little four and a half inch piece of duct and then a canvas on the supply. So you'll have a cut line right here on that. They already have the starting collars, so we're good there. Okay. Okay, combustion air is okay. Um, he, I removed this, um, drop. He may be adding a humidifier here, so I measured stuff for it, but this drop will be in our way if he does. Um, okay, the vent. So, remove this 3-inch T. We're going to take this 4-inch T and raise it up and put it in place of this 3-inch T. And then we'll run this four inch, four inch to the water heater. Off the bottom of our new four inch, or our four inch T you can lift up, put a five to four reducer. And then uh, I gave you just a 90 and a bunch of parts that you can do what you need. Okay, um, on the gas, so from the caulk, add it. Two inch and a T drip leg flex, um, and then ten inch into the furnace. Okay, um, I'll go over the AC in a minute. The drain is just to the floor. Um, standard order. I'll give you an extra T for the humidifier if they do it. Thermostat, reuse the existing thermostat. Um, it is a two stage stat and we do have five wires right now. So just uh, need to hook up that. Um, other wire. OK, 
Okay, humidifier, if we do it, I'll order, Scopes has to order stuff for it, so I'll order it. Furnace power, gonna reuse the box, I'll give you a new switch and cover. Okay, let's look at the AC. Okay, so here's a furnace. Um, where this gas line goes through, it's all open there. Um, well, minus some duct, but <laughs> kind of open. Anyway, um, so you're going to run a new line set down through this chase. And, um, you know, the joists go, go this way. So you're going to probably, unless you can get your hole at the, the perfect angle, you're going to probably have to cut some sheetrock here to get your line set up in the joist space and out. So I will let him know that when I go over it with him that we may have to cut this. Um, I would try, before you cut it, I would try to make your hole at an angle that you, you know, might be able to do it without cutting a hole, but I doubt it. Anyway, um, let's go upstairs and we'll go over the condenser. Okay, so here's the condenser. Um, notice how close it is to this gas meter. I told him, so he's gonna pour a new pad here. I told him we have to be minimum of three feet from that gas meter. So he's gonna pour that. So just make sure you screw it over. Um, And, okay, so your power is gonna come from the meter base right here. Um, we'll have an electrician come put in a 20 amp Siemens breaker right there. And this will actually be our disconnect, so we won't need another disconnect over here. But I figure I'll give you a 20 feet of half inch EMT and I figure just run EMT right along the wall here. Now I also gave you two EMT to flex connectors. So you can use one on this side and you can use one on this side here. And I would just flex however you need to down probably and up into the panel. But, um, okay. And that's about it.